Hey everybody, this is the Top Tenet Gamer Dude here, and welcome back to my Resident Evil Revelations 2 Let's Play Guide. So this is episode 4, Metamorphosis, Barry Burton's campaign. And this is by far the longest chapter in the game, and the enemies here are going to be Rotten's and just Revenants. Revenants, 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 and the final showdown with Alex Wesker. But this chapter altogether is about an hour and 30 minutes, so this is going to be cut into about four segments. Natalia Corda is really, really key in this chapter. Um, if you're playing, if you played on Claire's campaign previously, you can change the waterways. I just decided to keep it the same. But um, you should be able to bust out all your stuff on this chapter, and um, you should have a lot of herbs. If you're like me, you know how to conserve them properly. You should be all right. Now be careful of these surprise rottens. There should be some items in here. Be careful because there are zombies in here. Like there's a zombie right here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just a cloth. Could have sworn there was an herb in here. It's fine though. I have plenty of herbs. And the best part is, is in the first chapter of Barry's campaign, you just, the game loads you with them. And chapter one being so easy to beat. They just kind of stockpile on you. <laughs> yeah, there should be, a look, there's an herb right here. <laughs> so you get even more herbs. <laughs> this game just really stocks, stockpiles them on you. But yeah, that's what happens if you don't mess with the water currents. I mean, with the water, you just drop down here. You can pick up an herb. You can you can fight all those rottens back there if you're a little bored, if you please. But eh, I don't want to. Time is of the essence. Yeah, this thing is huge. This puzzle here can kind of trick up casual players. You know, who play this game, and you have to manipulate. You have to push the. You have to pull this lever to make this go back and forth and there's ladders that need to be used to climb, etc, etc, etc. So, some ladders have to be pushed down and others don't. But, generally speaking, alright. <coughs> Put an entire quarter on this one. I might mess up, but it's fine. <laughs> it's not a huge scratch. Wait a minute. Hmm. No, no, no. Because no. I think you can fall off. Yeah, let's just... I'll just send her across. <laughs> and there are giant wisps spiders on the stage, but... Their threat is, like, they do more damage on this difficulty, but their threat is still negligible. So, this is what you want to do. This is the premise of this little puzzle here. You want to get one of the characters on top of this. Yep, we're, we really are a pie, Natalia Corda. Alright, so... Alright... And go over there. Yeah, this is it. This is what you... Yeah, this Yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm doing good. I'm just, so this is the first part of this chapter. It's not too difficult. The pacing is really tedious because there's just not a lot of enemies and... You know, if there not being a lot of enemies, then things can get... Boring. Don't let that stop you, though. All right. I 
think I just made a mistake though. No, I didn't. I didn't make a mistake. So both characters are over here and now I can climb up here and get on it again. And I'll be able to move this forward with Natalia Corda to this one. There are wisp spiders, but they're not fast enough to stop you. And now that Natalia Corda is... She's done her role fabulously. Just press this. Tell her to follow you. Run up these stairs. There's going to be some zombies, rottens coming out of here. With, you know, with a combination of some wisp spiders, but again... You can go around if you want, or you can go through the window. I'm just going to kill some of these zombies. Simply because I can. <laughs> I have so much, so much health and reserve herbs that I can just kind of play recklessly. Which is something you don't want to really do on this difficulty. If You, you can avoid it at all costs. Especially when you're fighting the Revenants. You don't want to play too recklessly because... Revenants on Barry Burton's campaign can just do massive damage, and they can take a lot of damage if you don't shoot them in their weak spot. Generally, the final boss can use up a lot of your resources, so you have to be very careful of that. So, we're not in the mine just yet, but we will be, and the gimmick of the mine is, is there's this really polluted air, and this air can sap your health away after you stay in it for a certain amount of time. And when I mean sap your health, I mean it drains your health really quickly and you can die. Your screen gets your screen gets obscured by this blackness and since Natalia quarter is slower than Barry, it can be a real problem with Natalia because if Natalia gets incapacitated then it's pretty much over. And there's going to be nothing you can do about it. I'm going to be cutting this, too. Alright, we're in the mine. So, this mine gives you a pretty good amount of sniper bullets. So this is one of the better places on Barry Burton's campaign to get sniper bullets. Sniper bullets are really strong. They're really good. And they do a lot of damage. And I would recommend picking up as much as you can. Because they kill revenants in one shot if you shoot them in their weak spot. And this is the gimmick. I'm going to go to the left. That's the gimmick here. Now, when you're fighting rottens and revenants in that gas, and those enemies are already dead, so they're not particularly affected by it. They're not affected by it at all. That's when things can become an issue. So, the problem here is that you're put in like this kind of maze-like structure that's just meant to mislead you. And see my screen changed from like colors to black and white? It's just supposed to signal your character is suffocating. And if you're not quick enough, you'll die. So now, with all of these rottens, you know, in the way, it's almost as if the game wants you to kill them, and rightfully so, because getting hit by these guys or being grabbed and caught in animations just take up too much time. Yeah, and that door was closed on your first time going through. Now this is not good. See, when you get grabbed, yeah, but that's what happens if you get grabbed. You can easily die, and the cause enemies can combo you when you're being grabbed. But it's fair though because you made a mistake. It's not like Resident Evil 6 in which the camera, like when you get put in dying status, you know. And if your partner's not there to immediately pick you up, you can get comboed and you can die. And then, like, when, you're, when you get back up from dying status, 
you're vulnerable to enemies because they can initiate these animations and these animations can kill you now here is a revenant and it's one of those revenants that um they shoot their weird hand at you so what I do is, is I try to shoot the core while it's turned around It's, it sees me, so, now that it sees me, alright, I know where its weakness is at, so now that I know where its weakness is at, that move has a lot of range, but, good thing I know what I'm doing, there are revenants down here that are inactive, but, they'll become active if you run into them, if you touch them. So you want to avoid touching them at all costs. So you want to push this out of the way so Natalia Corda can crawl under, crawl under it. So you want to tell Barry to stay where he's at. And there's a revenant in here. And again. The revenants will not become active. Well, this one over here won't become active unless you bump into it. The revenant up here will become active when you open the door. Just like that. So I'm just going to expose its weakness. And now that its weakness is exposed, I can... dispatch of it with Barry Burton. Well, this isn't good. So I'm just going to shoot it with my AK, not my assault rifle. <laughs> and get some assault rifle bullets. Thankfully, it helps with the trouble of killing them. Yeah, and since you move very slowly like this, do not be afraid to just put it down and get some fresh air. So I'm just going to put it right here. If you're quick enough, you should be able to get up here without getting caught in the smoke for too long. Order us chemical. Nope, and now we get the lift activation key. You get more snapper bullets, and they're not being too generous with me with snapper bullets, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> the sniper is really useful regardless. And I'm going to heal myself, and then cancel out the animation by going to the door. Now I'm going to run over here and. Fortunately, you get stopped with your running, so firebomb bottle is good. Coming up here is a part that's particularly annoying because there's a bunch of zombies, a bunch of rottens, and they're everywhere, like literally everywhere. And you're forced to come under the scaffolding. In my troubles, I get some assault rifle bullets and. With all these rottens coming up here, you're pretty much just forced to deal with them. And they can put you in these animations in which they grab you. And it's just not good. Okay, she healed me, so thankfully I didn't have to heal myself, so I cut the animation short. If the bar fills up, then you're going to get healed. And this is how you want to just kill these rottens. You want to just take advantage of the fact that they get caught in these long animations when they're climbing on the scaffolding. And you want to knife them. So, thankfully I dodged. I'm taking a, a normal amount of damage. So since this zombies in the animation which is going to grab me should I get too close to it I decided to knife it and for your troubles of dealing with all the zombies you get 
an empty bottle. So, problem here is if you're going to tell Mattia to stay up here, there's a door you have to go through that's somewhat far away. And you don't, you always want to tell Mattia to come with you regardless. So that zombie is dead. So, this is what I do. You gotta go over here. There is a revenant patrolling, but hopefully it won't see you. But if it does, and that might actually be good because that's all the room you need. So now, after you push that large crate, you just want to run back up in the scaffolding. Catch your air. It's time to run. You don't want to run too much, but there's the Revenant. The music plays and it sees you. And look how fast these Revenants really are. You see how fast they are? That's how fast Revenants really are. And you don't ever want to underestimate how quickly they can really move. And with Natalia being in the proper amount of space needed, I can just go through the door. I'm going to tell Natalia to pass over at least one herb. And there's a doga here. And what you want to do with this doga, since it's aided by these fuckers, you want to use this as protection to help you avoid being hit. The doga is automatically aggroed, so there's a circle here, and you want this doga to follow you. If you go too close, that little hand, that weird, like, and it throws at you will hit you. So you want to lure it over here. And you know, since this thing is so slow, you pretty much don't really have much of a choice. If it jumps at you, that's actually a good thing. There should be another one of those enemies over here, but thankfully, if you're quick enough, you actually want Natalia to take a hit. And then I just evade the rest of the way up here. I quickly pick up this herb. I use this. Pick up the handgun ammo. And if you're quick enough, you should be able to avoid it, but unfortunately I wasn't. So now we're forced to fight it in here in this relatively narrow space. And this can get pretty nasty up here, but thankfully Natalia's healed. And unfortunately, the enemies that fire at their weird arms can actually destroy part of the droga, and that actually can make it go into its berserk mode unintended, and that is a bad thing. That is a very bad thing. You don't want it going into its berserk mode unintended. So unfortunately, there is going to be some revenants up here. And you're forced to deal with these revenants. There just is no way you can avoid these revenants. They're up here and they're going to be alerted to your presence. And yep, there they are. Well, since I got hit, I am now forced to heal myself, and I'm just going to use a firebomb bottle, because a firebomb bottle on these enemies are very effective. And I could just go through the door, but I don't want to take the chance of having these revenants run to me. And that's that. We're still not done with this mansion, I mean with the mine though. So. I got caught in animation. Thankfully, enemies didn't hit me while I was caught in that animation because that can happen to you, but you can always just smash evade. Now, this is going to just suck in all the dirty, polluted air and it'll allow us to go to the deeper part of the mine. Well, I just died. <laughs> that was pretty stupid of me. But there's a 
glitch there that it won't show you your amount of health, the amount of health you have, and you can die from fall damage. <laughs> I thought that was pretty stupid. Now, now, now it's going to show me. But generally, if your health is low like this and your blood is flashing, don't take fall damage because you'll die if you do. So we have the lift activation key and we've gotten everything we needed. And thanks to the length of this chapter, I'm going to be cutting it right here.